Hey Wargamers, I'm Josh with Wargames Delivered. Today we're going to be taking our first look at the U.S. Marine Corps weapons team. Thank you so much for stopping in with us today. Make sure to check us out on the web at wargamesdelivered.com so you can get your hands on a weapons team for yourself and any of the tools and paints that are featured in this video. Now I know you're not here to stare at my face, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. The United States Marine Corps' favorite boom boom, the M1 Man Portable Rocket Launcher, referred to as a stovepipe or bazooka, the carryable rocket launcher saw widespread use across each of the fronts the Americans fought in, featuring the ability to fire high-energy or high-energy anti-tank rounds at considerable range. To paint this miniature team, we are going to start off by painting the boots with a leather brown using the Kalinske Sable Masterclass brush. These miniatures were primed black originally and then painted with a base coat of army green to give them that initial green color of the uniforms that I wanted across the entire thing. Moving on from the boots, we're going to use the color Sulfide Ochre to paint the canvas straps that cover the boots that the pants are tucked into. The technical name of that escapes me. I hope somebody down in the comments can fill me in because I can't remember it for the life of me. After rigorous field testing, the M1 bazooka proved to be less than ideal for fighting in the jungles. The M1A1 bazooka was the upgraded version and was less prone to environmental in interference and was the first shoulder-mounted rocket launcher to see widespread use. Making its debut during the Marianas campaign, the U.S. Marine Corps used it to hunt Japanese tanks across the island. For the helmet, we are going to start with a base coat of the color Combat Fatigues using our Kalinske Masterclass brush. We're going to do an all over light coat with that color.
By 1944, the bazooka was issued at 172 per, per marine division, 43 per regiment, 16 in the regimental weapon company, 9 in each of the battalions. There were also three bazookas issued under the F-10 table to the HQ teams that could be issued to any infantryman as the commanding officer saw fit. While the base coat on our helmet is drying, we are going to switch over to Barbarian skin and paint the base for the skin tones across the arms and face. While the bazooka was used to great effect against the weaker army of Japanese tanks in the Pacific, the same could not be said across Europe as the German Panthers had much thicker armor and were significantly harder to damage. Being easy to store, carry, and operate, the bazooka was a powerful tool designed to help disable enemy vehicles in fortification and saw widespread use across the conflict.
starting off with a nice dark earth tone, I used the color Dirt Splatter to fill in random splotches in the helmet to start the basis for my camo pattern. Once I was satisfied with the brown splotches, I switched back to the army green color to fill in the last few splotches of detail to create the, the splatter pattern camo on the very top of the helmet. I'm going to attach the miniature to the base using super glue and then using a popsicle stick I'm going to spread out some texture paint all across the base of the miniature. I want to make sure to cover the whole thing because I like that dirty dirty ground look. I'm going to start off by using a thicker dark green foliage uh, flocking for underneath. I'm going to put it sporadically across the miniature, making sure to work as much over the top of the container as I can so I don't spill it all over my desk. Once I'm satisfied with, that, how, with how that looks, I'm going to switch over to a different size flocking. This one is a lot finer. You'll see the difference here as they're open next to each other. This is going to be my actual base layer of grass. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that over the entirety of the model there. Once I'm happy with how that base looks, I go ahead and stick a uh, army painter tuft on there just to really tie everything together. And we have a finished bazooka team. <laughs> 